Hello to all traders and welcome back to another market review brought to you by Orbex. So we're looking at gold today after it's slightly correcting from the recent highs that we've seen above the 2000 area. So we got to roughly about $2,020 before we saw the uh, predicted correction and we're dropping off roughly about $20 to $30 now currently as the price stands hovering around the 1995, 1996 handle. And this is after a good jobs report in the NFP on Friday. Well, a solid jobs report. It came in as the consensus right roughly about 235,000 new jobs being added. Uh, and on the back of that as well, we've got core inflation data and inflation data year on year coming up on Wednesday. And if we focus on the year on year inflation, uh, currently standing around 6%, it's supposedly going to drop to the lower regions of the 5% area, roughly about 5.2%. So very, very good numbers coming out of America. And this is why we see a bit of a drop off in gold and a bit of an ascension in the dollar as well in the last couple of hours so it's looking likely that this could continue we could see another ten dollar drop off in gold before we get some support and then we start uh, moving a little bit higher as well so in the near term it's looking likely that we might start seeing uh, more of a push uh, on the dollar especially with the um, the numbers moving higher as well so lots of data to come out of the american market today obviously wednesday's the big day but we'll look on gold and dollar just to kick off the week to see what the opportunities are so like i said we're in a little bit of a bear market now looking likely uh that we're on the daily chart at least that we could see another as i said five ten dollar drop off going to the 1985 region uh before we get a little bit of support before moving to the recent um, highs that we saw roughly about you know 2020 2025 we had a little bit of a false spike uh, going a little bit higher but if you look on the four hour chart a little bit more intraday we're seeing now as you can see since the banking collapse in America uh, started at the beginning of March we've seen this progression in gold naturally it was a very predictive progression uh, and obviously a sell-off in the dollar as well it's supposedly coming to an end now, the banking crisis, if you uh, agree with what Janet Yellen and Fed Chair Jerome Powell have said, and even Joe Biden have been saying in the last few sessions. So with that being said, we could see, uh, as a... Uh, as I said before, bears really coming into the market to cut, start selling off gold as well. But is this just a correction or are we going to see a little bit more of an upside uh, bias? Well, as you can see from the four hour chart, we're getting this choppy road to the upside here. Uh, so it's looking progressive. But you know, as I said, if we can move past the 2020 area, then we could see these fresh highs really start progressing even further. So very exciting times for gold uh, because there's not really too much on the way of divergences on the other side. So we could be seeing slight correction and then a move to the upside. So we'll keep an eye on that for you in the near term as well. Speaking of the uh, dollar and progression, <coughs> excuse me, as you can see here from Wednesday and Thursday's session, even before the NFP, we had this slight uptick um, on the DXY and we've moved over a dollar on that, uh, which is quite a good uh, reading since, as you can see here, since the financial banking collapse, we've just been in a con constant bear channel. So we're trying to break out of it at the moment. Uh, if you're trading dollar pairs, for example, euro dollar, pound dollar, these uh, big pairs in the forex market, take a look on the DXY. Uh, sorry, the US index, because we could be seeing uh, the next signal for this particular uh, movement for the dollar. Uh, so today's trading, there's not too much fundamentals out. We're just waiting to see what bulls and bears are doing and gearing up for the big inflation data on Wednesday. But speaking of that, just want to take you to the um, euro dollar, because as you can see here, very, very uh, bullish meaning a very weak dollar in the near term. But since we've had uh, the last couple of trading sessions, as you can see here, we're in a slight bearish channel. So is this a particular move for the dollar? Are we going to see more of a progression on these dollar pairs? Well, I'll, we'll report on the dollar pairs next time around because uh, at the moment we're just focusing on gold and the actual dollar itself index. Uh, so just Keep an eye out for the rumors of the next inflation data. Look at the consensus versus um, the previous data uh, and you'll get probably more of an idea of where we're going for the next couple of trading sessions at least. So let's see what's happening and we'll keep you updated. So thank you very much for joining me today. Have a great trend day ahead and bye for now.